Hi all, today's topic is Lebanese taste. So when you go with the Lebanese taste, first we should learn about the alternating theories. A series in which the terms are alternately positive and negative is called the alternating series. Lebanese taste means when alternating series, okay, alternate minus plus when you have it. If it is converges means two condition if it satisfies, then we say that it is convergent. Okay, u n minus u n minus 1 is less than 0 means it's a first condition. And when we take a limit n tending to infinity, u n equal to 0 means it's a second condition satisfied. Means when both the conditions are satisfied, it is a convergence. So, we'll discuss this in the first problem. So, the convergence of the series 1 minus half plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. So, when we write it, u n is nothing but 1 by n because 1 is common so n so 1 by n u n minus 1 we need to write u n minus 1 so u n minus 1 is nothing but 1 divided by n instead of n n minus 1 so when i check for the first condition u n minus u n minus 1 so u n minus u n minus 1 when I check it 1 by n minus 1 by n minus 1 so something but take a LCM n into n minus 1 so is divided by n minus 1 minus n so n n get cancelled so it is nothing but minus 1 n into n minus 1 So, always is less than 0 only because positive more than 0 will not get it. So, minus symbol. So, it is less than 0. So, for first condition satisfied, u n, u n minus 1 is less than 0. Second condition we need to check. Limit n tending to infinity u n. So, limit n tending to infinity u n. So, same way limit n tending to infinity u n is 1 by n so 1 by infinity is nothing but 0 so if it is also 0 means then it is both the conditions are satisfied Leibniz condition satisfied therefore sum of u n is Convergent. Some of you here is convergent. This is the way we have to conclude for a Leibniz test. So, one more problem, the second question. So, discuss the convergence of the series x divided by 1 plus x minus x square divided by 1 plus x square etc. So, now we will write u n. u n when I write it is nothing but x power n numerator 1 plus x power n. u n minus 1 I need to write. n minus 1 is nothing but x power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus x power n minus 1. So, subtract it. You first condition checking u n minus u n minus 1 subtraction I am going to do. So, x power n divided by 1 plus x power n minus x power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus x power n minus 1. Okay. So, this only. So, you have to check means now general case you can take a LCM and you check means you cannot check it. What I am going to do put x equal to n equal to 2 I will put it so it's nothing but u equal to u n n equal to 2 when I put it u n minus u n minus 1 so when I subtract it 2 so 2 and x equal to because 1 by 2. The reason it is given in the question 0 to 1. In between 0 to 1. So, in between value is 0.5. So, that only 1 by 2 I am taking. 
now i will check it so when i check it x is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 the whole square divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 so when i divide it 1 by 4 divided by 5 by 4 minus 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 so 1 by 5 minus 1 by 3 so it's nothing but minus 2 by 15 so it's less than 0 same way you extend it n equal to 3 and x equal to some data so every data it will be less than 0 only so it's less than 0 so first condition satisfied second condition limit n tending to infinity u n we have to check limit n tending to infinity u n so instead of u n i will substitute the u n value so when i substitute it x power n divided by 1 plus x power n when i substitute n equal to infinity anything power infinity so anything power infinity okay anything power infinity okay so it's zero Overall zero. So first two conditions satisfied means Leibniz condition satisfied. Therefore, U one is a convention. So completed. Thank you.